breaking news. There's been a 9.9 magnitude earthquake, but that's not the worst part. The earthquake triggered a tsunami towering 294 meters. Could this be a disaster? Wait a minute. Could? What do you mean, could? Of course this is a disaster, right? This is thankfully a theoretical example, so we can be absolute to some extent. The hazards are a 9.9 .9 magnitude earthquake and a 294 meter tall tsunami. Exactly 181,406 people either lost their lives or went missing. Exactly 206,390 people sustained injuries. Damages totaled $220.64 billion USD. And best estimates claim recovery to normal function will take anywhere from six to eight years with extensive loss to function. With these conditions, the question, is this a disaster, is absolutely yes. But let's change one specific detail. Keeping the 9.9 .9 magnitude earthquake and the 294 meter tall tsunami, if nobody was killed or went missing, nobody was injured, there was no damages and absolutely no loss to function, is this still a disaster? Picture an area devoid of life and function, like Chernobyl for example. And now imagine a meteorite, greater than any that have entered the Earth's atmosphere before, comes crashing down. Untold destruction on such a scale that is impossible to describe. Only, there were no deaths, nobody was injured, no resources that humans used were disrupted, there was no loss of function, no houses or buildings were damaged, and there was absolutely no notable major impact on ecosystems. Is this a disaster? Wikipedia defines the disaster as a serious problem occurring over a short or long period of time that causes widespread human, material, economic or environmental loss, which exceeds the ability of the affected community or society to cope with using its own resources. Essentially, a natural hazard is a natural event that has the potential to harm people and their property. To understand this from a geographer's perspective, a hazardous event, no matter how grand, must have a human element. It is when the hazards intersect with people, that is when a disaster is born. This model is called the DEG model. In other words, a disaster is a hazard that impacts humans. If a hazard occurs with no loss of human life or loss of function in any notable capacity, it's not a disaster. Otherwise, earthquakes and volcanoes on other planets would be considered a disaster, wouldn't they? But we also can't call anything that has a human impact a disaster. So if one person is injured and one shop has to close to replace one broken window, that's not a disaster because it doesn't cross what we call a threshold. These thresholds allow us to gauge when a hazardous event yields enough damage to be considered a disaster. For example, 10 or more deaths, 100 or more people affected, one million dollars in economic losses. Once they pass these thresholds, we can go from calling it a tragedy to a disaster. Thank you for watching. Please support the channel by clicking subscribe.